Hi, it's James William Ward here. Today I'm going to be giving you my top three ideas from the book Spark by John Ratey. This is another book that's all about the benefits of exercise on the mind, body and your general health. Uh, amazing book full of fantastic research. So idea number one is our genes demand activity. So Paleolithic man, when we were evolving for millions and millions of years, we had a very high activity level. So our genes are coded to work well with this high level of activity. The average amount of distance that a Paleolithic man would cover was about 5 to 10 miles per day. So that's running, walking and jogging. And because we've evolved to cope with this level of activity, when we don't meet that level of activity, there's lots of things that go wrong with our system, with our, with our body. We are evolved to have a high level of activity and when we don't meet that, the certain problems that come up in our health. Idea number two is the depression epidemic. So at least 17% of people in America have suffered from depression at some point in their lives and it affects a lot of people in a really significant way. Exercise is shown to have a huge positive impact on relieving the symptoms of depression. There's a teacher at Harvard called Tal Ben-Shahar and he says not exercising is like taking a depressant. It's so vital for our mental health and well-being to get the amount of physical activity that we need. By not exercising, by not getting that activity, it's as if we're condemning ourselves to have some form of depression, to not be at our optimum state of mind and mood. Idea number three is the flexible brain. So one thing I found in this book which was absolutely fascinating is that when we learn a new muscular skill like learning to play the piano or playing tennis or learning some sort of uh, martial art, something that's physical, we develop new neural pathways in the brain and these neural pathways that are then created in the brain, this framework that's been created, can then be used to learn something like a language or something more cerebral. So by using the body and doing something physical, we're putting ourselves in a fantastic state to learn something, then once we've learned that physical skill, our brains can then use that system to learn another skill, even if that isn't a physical skill, even if it's completely unrelated. Learning has this cumulative effect. The more things we learn, the more able we are to learn other things. We can learn one skill, and that's gonna help us to learn another skill, even though it's completely unrelated. So those were my top three ideas from the book Spark by John Ratey. Let me know what you thought about this video, leave me a comment and click subscribe because I'll be uploading more videos about books similar to this in the future. Until next time, keep living life and love learning. Bye bye.